This is how to do the paper cutout effect in Photoshop. Grab your paint bucket tool and make a bunch of base layers. Then grab the lasso tool and start making your random shapes. Select your first base layer and then click Select and Mask. The Properties tab will pop up and max out the smooth and contrast sliders and hit OK. Now the hardest part, smash your delete button. Now repeat those steps on all your other layers. So you get to the last layer where you double click and the layer style tab will pop up. Select drop shadow, change the blending mode to multiply, change the opacity to around about 45%. Have fun with the sliders, messing around with the size, the spread and the distance and the angle to get the best look for your shapes that you've made and hit OK. Hold Alt, click on the drop shadow, and drag it down to the layers to copy it down and add a paper texture. And there you go.